And you know, sometimes you get like put in messed up situations, like you don't know where you're going at in life and where you're going to in life. And that's when at that very moment that God is dealing with you, and that God is one to help you and stuff. And sometimes you just get put there because you let the devil take over and take control and stuff. And in this case, I was kind of messed up and stuff. And, uh, you know, I have my friend. So the friend thing, people that I thought were my friends, they laughed and stuff. And my family, that was like, it's called me crazy, delusional. And you know, by uh, this year, by uh, November 2010, I was kind of messed up and stuff because I was going through some problems of my own stuff. Even though I thought everything was good, I still was like, yeah, that. Still doubt myself, and luckily these people like God sent me. I mean, man, without them I wouldn't even you know. No, I'm still sorry about like that. Like he, Jake Spurlock. I mean this guy. It, I call him the All Star Teacher. I mean, and this cat like he and a couple other guys like stayed with me throughout the whole year. If it wasn't for him, if it wasn't for him, AJ pretty much, Austin Rutherford, I mean, I probably wouldn't even, <laughs> it's untelling where I would have been at, though. Him and AJ Rutherford, you know, and just Charlie Robinette, um, just Johnny Ray, uh, Brian Banks, B. Banks. I mean, these five were the main pieces that helped me throughout my situation, the troubles and trials, so. And like I said, uh, Eubanks, he was my best friend at the time. Like, he would be him, like, every day on the bus, I would tell him stories about me and my problems and stuff. Like, uh, with the PLC issue and stuff, to your crossroads and stuff. And I mean, he was there for me every single step of the way. Yeah. And I mean, him still tied and stuff. We're still good friends and everything. Uh, yeah, we work things out and stuff. I, I believe we can get back to being on best friend role and stuff like that. And there's a couple other good friends that helped me, but these five were like the main ones that helped me. I mean, Johnny Ray, uh, he was my auto body teacher, and I called him my counselor because he was like always getting on to me, like, do your work, Pancho, uh, uh, what you need to do to get uh, through class and stuff. and. Luckily, I listened to him and Marky Middleton, like in March. Cause I, I, I was on the verge of just ended it all right there. But if they hadn't stayed on me and stuff, I probably would have failed that year in that class and stuff. And Austin Rutherford, um, and this guy, man, I had him fourth period sports uh, training or something like that class, uh, Mr. Wills' class. I mean, he would listen to me every single day, whine and complain about my life problems and stuff and everything, but he was also another cat that would always stay with me too. I mean, he uh, he didn't have to listen to me, uh, him and B-Banks and Jake Spurlock, they didn't have to listen to me, but in a ways I'm glad I got my anger on stuff because that helped me out a whole lot though as far as my problems and everything. And, you know, Jake Spurlock, I met this guy around, uh, I'm gonna say August of 2008, uh, sophomore year, we just clicked like that, he kind of, he's like, hey, Shaq, what's going on? Like, you doing alright? I, like, I was like, yeah, I'm doing pretty good, kid, how about you? Like, yeah, I'm doing wonderful. You wanna play some basketball? I'm like, sure. We we tied up, we hooked up and stuff, and tied, we were tied ever since, and... That guy, man, I mean, he helped me out a whole lot, like, especially when my mind was messed up and everything, and the devil started taking control of me and stuff. And luckily, God sent him, not only him and AJ, but AJ and B Banks and Johnny Ray at the time, because, and he, Jake Spurlock, with the help of God, Jake Spurlock taught me the steps of life and everything, and just how to live your life and speak your mind and stuff again. I mean, so him, it was a blessing from heaven. It was really a blessing from heaven to see him, man, because he had struggled, and I struggled a whole lot, but him and AJ were probably the only two that stick together with me all the time. And this probably meant, uh, like, eh, 
I was gonna say you. Uh, she, she's, she's a good girl too. But I don't think it is because you, know, you can only go a certain amount of time before. Right. Nah, it wasn't her. It was the a God, I believe, was helping me move up in life and stuff. And the devil just had to finally slid his way in. And it's like I said before, uh, you get put in some situations, messed up situations, and then sometimes you get caught up. And, but you, if you, where I had the heart of God and I never left his side, I mean, I would not, wouldn't even be here today. So for them to like be there, the sinners of God, I call them the sinners of God. For them to be there at that time, like Charlie, B. Banks, Johnny Ray, uh, Jake Spurlock and AJ, for them to be there and help me out through my situation and trials, that really shows that they are truly great at what they do. And they are, especially Jake and AJ, they are great friends, no matter what. And Johnny Ray, he's just a great teacher. Like I said, I'm still, it's still so good. Even though I got so many friends and stuff, they are the ones that really helped me out senior year. Uh, and I give them all the credit in the world. I, I thank them every single day for it. And so that's why I'm still here today.